Good morning, everyone. Starting the day out. It's about 10 o'clock right now. Going to catch some fish to bring to the store. Then I got to work in the retail store all day. So you can expect probably a lot of retail action. So here we go. So here is the first catch, and it is a bunch of glow light tetras that have been quarantined for about three months and going into the store. Super robust and healthy. Going to sell quick, I'm sure. So I just caught a bunch of neon tetras out and they're going to the store and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move a lot of this uh, African fern or bulbitis into a tank with goldfish because there's duckweed up here and I don't want to transfer the duckweed to the next tank I want to do. I want to move this bulbitis up here and give some shelter for these guys to protect their babies and things like that so that's what I need to be doing and uh, you know, give you a quick little peek over at the African tank. The plants, you know, they're looking healthy since I put that new light on. They're looking healthy, but they're not spreading yet. But they are looking good. And uh, I added some floating plants in there too, just to give them something to nibble on if they wanted to. And this is water sprite that's floating, and they don't seem to be nibbling, nibbling on it at all. So anyway, I'm gonna move the uh, bulbitis and catch some more fish. Time to catch all of these Priscilla Tetras and the time lapse it. All right, and I caught out the last of my half black pastel guppies. Just, I'm not in love with the line here, and so it's time to move them on. I'm gonna bring them all to the shop, sell them off. Um, but, got four buckets of fish ready to go. I just gotta load them up into the back of my car and head to the store. Well, I'm at the store, getting ready to pack orders. Only about 15 or so to go out so far today. I showed up, turns out I don't even work today. That's how, how much I don't even know what's going on. So I have employees here, I'm gonna help pack, we're gonna unload some fish that come in, and then I'm gonna get out of here and get back into the fish room and make some magic happen. So here's some more packaging I'm playing with for uh, shipping goldfish. What I like about this is it all fits together, like it comes together, comes apart in pieces, right? And you build it on a base, and so it all snaps together. And I just think this is a pretty cool thing. It's not cheap, but it's another option. I just got to weigh the options. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of these options together. I'll start playing with one of these right now. Uh, I'm gonna put all these options together, and then I'm gonna put heat packs in, I'm gonna measure, I'm gonna put them outside, and wait till it gets a little bit colder, and I'm going to measure uh, how well they hold temp and stuff like that, and choose whichever one performs the best. Not whatever is cheapest, or more, most expensive, or anything like that. But you can see here how this is just, each piece fits in, and this fourth one is gonna lock it into place and make it a very strong cube. Now this is just a prototype, so I need to have it built a little bigger if I'm gonna use it for the purpose I want to use it for. But once you get it all put together, it becomes a very strong box, because it's all locked together. And then you really lock it down with the, with the, uh, with the top. And it's, it's a little bit tricky to get that top on, because you gotta get all of them lined up just perfect. There we go, and that becomes a very, very, I'm like, I'm really pressing on this, so just, you know, a very strong cube that could not get crushed and you can imagine, if I put one goldfish in here, this thing's like indestructible. Obviously this would be in another box to even enforce it more, so, you know, that's, that's part of the packaging, you know. So when I, 
When I say I've got to work out packaging problems, that's what I'm talking about. It's not just straight up like, oh yeah, I gotta find a box to put it in. Like, there's a lot of in-depth research that goes because once I get something like that in process, we might ship thousands of goldfish that way until I find something better because it always takes a lot of time to improve upon what I've already found to be the best. And so, you know, like you've watched me do the bettas, for instance, like that's an evolution of 10 years of trying different systems and it's still not perfect. And nothing's ever perfect, but usually when I touch something, I'm gonna to touch it till I make it better. Then I'm gonna ignore it for a while, and then I'm gonna to touch it again till I make it better. Um, and that's the way I do things. So you address one problem, you address the next problem, you address this project, and you keep working on projects till you cycle back, or you see something that stimulates and go, I could use that for this part, something like that. So now I'm gonna show you uh, the, the feeder that I alluded to a long time, or not a long time ago, a few videos ago. Um, so let me grab one. So I'm still in the testing phase. I've been testing one. Now I ordered six more, you know. So I really want to get them tested before I start selling them because this thing is not cheap. Uh, this feeder runs at $130 a piece. And so this isn't just like, oh yeah, it's just a fish feeder. It's highly, you know, it's, it's more like commercial, like what I'm doing, but it's super duper reliable and I know there's gonna be applications for it for you guys. Like if you have a very large aquarium, for instance, that needs to be auto fed, um, you can stack these. So this is the hopper, right? You can fill all this up with food. I think it holds a liter or something like that. I can't, I'd have to look it up. But they also have accessories and you can just stack this unlimited amounts. So here's another one. So now it could hold that much food. And I can you can just keep adding on. You could have like 10 tall, you know, and once you get that on an aquarium, like that holds a decent amount of food. So if you have lots of monster fish or you just, you know, like, why do I have it? I want to auto feed all these goldfish that, you know, are high end. I want to feed good food. I want them to eat you know, a bunch of times a day, and then me swoop in and feed them other good things like frozen foods and stuff. Uh, but these are not the easiest to work with because you have to dial, you have to dial in their little motors and some other cool things it's got. The reason why I love this thing is it's got this drum in here that can grind food up. So if something ever gets stuck, it'll grind through it. So it can grind up flake food. If it gets stuck, uh, you set how big of a hole you want, so you can let it feed out giant pellets or algae wafers or something like that, or it could be tiny micro pellet. And you set how long the motor turns for. Now, this has no uh, computer, so to speak, in it at all. So you have to hook it up to a timer. So that means like a, a normal lamp timer, when it gives us power, it will turn on to the revolutions you set it to. So it's not a great product for your average person. Your average person goes, I want to set the number two, I want to set it for three o'clock, I want to do that, and it's done. It takes calibration, but because it's so much calibrating, you can really dial in the amount of food you're feeding. So I'm excited to play with these. I've got six of them. Well, it's not cheap, obviously, you do the math. You know, what is that, 600? And so it's like 800 bucks plus ship with the shipping. If they all work really well, then I'm gonna consider buying them wholesale and selling them on my website. I gotta buy a lot of them, so I wasn't willing to buy wholesale without thoroughly testing this, because if I have a hundred of these things and they don't work very well, I've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on a product that I can't in good faith sell. So I'd rather pay retail, test them well, and then buy in wholesale, because I gotta buy a lot. So. All right, let's see what trouble I can get into next. So now, if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm shooting a product video. What does that mean? Everyone's asking, you know, what size is my small fry food and how does it work and things like that. So I've got an underwater camera in there and we're gonna feed these fish and we're going to uh, document it and then I'll put out a video. You'll probably see that video come out very soon, if not with this video. And you're gonna go, what is this about? But it's so I can put it on the web page so people understand how this food works. So that's what I'm doing. So you're probably wondering, what am I doing here? I'm not doing a live stream. Well, it's a Skype call. So I gotta do a one-on-one -on -one Skype call consultation with someone. Uh, it's gonna be the next hour. It's 4.51 right now, so I won't be done until about six. 
And then I'll pick up some, well, I'll pick up some dinner, but I'll grab some dinner after I feed the fish, and that'll be a day. So that's, you know, I'm trying to show you guys all the aspects of, you know, the fish store, so to speak. So even these Skype calls I gotta do, testing products, feeding stuff, doing all that kind of stuff. So yeah, trying to keep it quick and short and interactive and entertaining for you guys. All right, conference call is over. Time to feed. It's like seven or seven thirty by this point, and I gotta quick. I gotta feed quick. So I'm gonna use my squirty food. Basically, you squirt the bottle, and it puffs out uh, the small fry food. I'm gonna feed that to almost everything in here. Like the goldfish, obviously, get something different because uh, it's a little bit too small for them. But yeah, enjoy the time lapse of that feed. And that's all we got for today. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, what do I got on the docket for tomorrow? I got to work all day in the store, so who knows what I got planned. But I got a thing or two, so make sure you check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.